Oh, I can't look stuff like that. Yeah, I like you. Take care, Chris. All right. People want to know where the Sylvan name come, came from, and I live in downtown Sylvan. Population 25. Honest. So are all these cars in that town? We're the biggest manufacturer in Sylvan. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and as one friend of mine said, Three quarters of the people live in Sylvan are self-employed, and other friends says that's because none of them none of them will take orders. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. This is our uh, latest ship, the um, HO scale uh, Manchester Mercurio Rapido. It's a 1970s era uh, container ship, operated out of Montreal up to onto the American ports on the Great Lakes into the late 70s. We also do that in N scale. Um, we now have a wooden lake freighter out here. Um, it's a small 81 foot freighter. It was built in 1922, sank in 1956, so it's only 81 feet long, so it's perfect for NEO scalers, and we do it in HO scale too. Um, the trucks out front, these are brand new here today. These are our international C190 and Diamond T734 tandems, plus the La France pumper. And we have our 56 Chevys here. They've been out for a little while. We've got about, I think, 11 different body styles here. And then we've got uh, some of the stuff that's in the works. There's some Mack pumpers, uh, 37 Studebaker cab over engine truck. And we're doing a THB bus that was based on a 37 Studebaker in both O scale and HO scale. And this is a weight 5,000. This is going to be our first attempt at doing a cast resin windshield with a wraparound windshield. So we're kind of learning as we go. And out on the end here, we've got our um, HO scale World War I um, tramp steamer, the Laker class tramp steamer. And I'm redoing the instructions, so I'm taking photographs and painting as I go, but I did it up with World War One camouflage, what they called dazzle paint. We've got handouts here if anybody wants to take anything along today. I think maybe that's about it for now. How's it going? Come March will be 30 years in the business. Um, I've been a modeler since I was six years old probably, you know, uh, boats and planes and cars and I got into trains and, and um, I used to enter the, the regional contests and um, I got a few gold awards and best in show trophies and at that point I thought, yeah, maybe people will pay me to, to do this and as I say, it'll be 30 years next March so I've been pretty lucky to be able to do it that long. And, no, and no, no, um, I got a couple of custom building contracts that you couldn't go to the hobby shop and buy parts, so I had to learn how to cast parts for it, and we've just gone from from there, and we've developed some techniques of our own that uh, we're doing stuff, and, and of course the vehicles have really always been my my thing, my pet peeve was that there were no really good quality vehicles um, on the market. You had the, um, the Jordan Model T Ford and that was about it, but if you were modeling 50s, there weren't that many Model Ts and not everybody drove a Model T, so um, I learned how to do the one-piece bodies and, and cast up the vehicles and we've never looked back. I guess, on so these are like cast resin? They're all cast resin, they're polyurethane, they're done in a two-part silicone mold and pressure cast. And um, so, and I think we're up to 345 vehicles now. Wow, that's a lot. So, what actually inspires you to do each model? Um, my, our, our unofficial philosophy with the vehicles was four-door sedans, dog dish hubcaps, and black wall tires. Uh, no Corvettes, no convertibles, and no foreign cars. Because we're, I'm still a model railroader first and foremost. And I wanted vehicles that would look at, not wouldn't look at a place on a typical street scene in a small town North America. You, you're not going to see too many Ferraris in, in downtown Tilsonburg in 1955. So we wanted uh, the four-door sedans and the pickup trucks and that. So we just looked around at what was popular. So that's what we're doing. It's typical stuff. 
If you are doing any historic research and you look at a photograph of a train station, it's the kind of car that you would see parked in the parking lot. Kind of like the mom, pa, and the family car. The mom, pa, family, family car. car, the station wagon, the four-door sedan, uh, the farmer's pickup truck with a load of grain bags or something in the back. The stuff that was, is typical. Um, that said, we do an occasional something just because I like it. And a friend of mine got me into doing fire trucks a few years ago, which was great because everybody loves fire trucks. And uh, but yeah, we're just as I said, we're doing the, the typical um, started out 30s, 40s, and a few early 50s. We've moved up. We've got a few into the 60s. We've gone back into the 20s a bit. Um, I was just talking to Dan over at Rapido, they're going to bring out those 80 Chevys, the big, big Caprices and that, and I said I doubt I ever do anything up in the 80s because the newer cars don't excite me. I like the older stuff, the, the 40s, 50s cars. And, and that, cool. So. Stuff online at uh, www.sylvanscalemodels.com or Sylvan Scale Models Facebook page. And um, Lauren here at Otter Valley has a good selection. He carries a big selection of our products. So come on out. Mm. You know, we we um, we don't have an online store because we're trying to protect our hobby shops that deal our 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 dealers. And that. So uh, you can order from Lauren's. Um, store online and that. It's always good to promote the host of the event too, eh? For me? <laughs> so it's always good to prevent or promote the host of the show. Oh well, <laughs> that and we've always tried to support our hobby shops and anybody that's been in the business knows how tough that's getting. Everybody's going online and unless you have an online presence, um, you might as well forget it because pretty much the, the days of when I used to go down to the local hobby shop Friday night and hang out with the guys, they're pretty much gone, especially in the last couple of years with this pandemic. Um, it makes it kind of difficult. In that. But everybody's buying online. And I can't say enough good about Lauren. I've had so many of my friends ordered stuff from him and come back with, with great reviews of, of his customer service and that. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, and uh, I just say, um, we've got a number of hobby shops across Canada and the U.S. and handle the product, so go to your local hobby shop or go online to your local hobby shop. Yeah, and just ask for the Sullivan's line. Pardon me? You said just ask for the Sullivan line. <laughs> yep. Like I say, 30 years come March, I just can't believe it. I, I joke that I can hope I can make a go of it, otherwise I'm going to have to get a real job. And if I have to get scrape ice off the windshield to go to work, I'm quitting. <laughs> well, I sailed for 15 years and running this. Sometimes I do projects just for me. So when we did the O-Scale um, White Swan, we also included the crew with it. This is Lefty, the deckhand. Just hold it right by your glasses. And this is Ponchi, the cook. Never trust this game to go. So this was just a kind of a fun project to see if I could carve figures and that. So we do that for the O scale thing. And, um, but I just and we've got a shopping list. I, I half jokingly say I'm running out of projects. I'm down to fifteen thousand things left to do. <laughs> um, it's ne it's going to be never ending. There's so many vehicles that I haven't done that I want to do. Um, I've only just realized in the last few years I'm not going to get them all done because I'm not going to live that long. Um, I know all oh, about the second year into doing the vehicles, I had a fellow at the Coke Town show look at it. We're up to like 40 or 50 vehicle kits by that time, and he's going, You must be running out of vehicles to do it. I'm going, I haven't even scratched the surface yet. I said, If you only take one brand like Chevrolet and one decade, and you do a two door and a four door and maybe a station wagon, well, there's three vehicles times 10 years, there's 30 vehicles right there. Um, and then you take all the other brands, and I like the or what they call the orphan mates, the ones that are no longer around, you know, Menage, Hudson, Studebaker, uh, they're always kind of neat cars and that. And there were more of those out on the in the small town scenes than you realize, so it's kind of neat to do uh, those old vehicles, the companies are long gone. And that, so, uh, but yeah, yeah, I can go forever doing vehicle kits and never get done. But, uh, and I'm having fun doing it, that's the main thing. It is.
Oh my god. Oh, I can't lift stuff like that. Yeah, I like you. Take care, friend.